ready to do some filming. But first, coffee, collagen, then let's rock and roll. What's up, mi gente, and welcome once again to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing my very first experience with the Hydro Facial. Also, we are going to be creating some more look like that new strand. Is that that glossy, wet look on the skin? Utilizing some very basic, inexpensive makeup. But not only that, I'm going to be introducing a brand that I have never tried before, but it is free of all the junk ingredients. It is organic, no test on animals. So if you want to know more about it. If you love beauty, if you love skin, then this video is gonna be just right for you. This is my very first step before I do any serums, before I do anything on my skincare routine. This is what I start with. This product here is not sponsored. I have bought several bottles. I drink this stuff. Amazing. It's made with snail mucus. I know it sounds weird and disgusting, but it does wonders for the skin and it makes your skin plumpy and almost already creates that pretty glossy look before applying no makeup. You're gonna use this hand to kind of lightly hold your skin this way and then start from the outer corner of your face and you're gonna go inwards so just like this at an angle actually i did it like four or five times because i like the way it felt and it was removing those little hairs that they were growing above my beard guys if you have a beard just do it above your beard girls you can do pretty much from this corner of the face all the way in including your jawline vegan, cruelty free, fragrance free, dye free, no parabens, no silicones, no sulfates, no formal da, blah 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 blah. What? No petroleum and no mineral oil. The texture is almost like a toothpaste. A good thing actually about dermaplaning is that when you apply skincare after the fact, everything will soak in much more. It's like a deep cleansing mask in my opinion and it feels really good. It's not hydrating at all. My skin doesn't feel hydrated by the way, but it feels clean and it feels tight. It goes right in. Incredible. I don't know if it's because I just did the dermaplaning, but this absorbed like in a nanosecond. Love that. Retinol. Use it at night time only. It's like a little tube and this right in here is just a spot treatment. So no need to go crazy with it. You just dot it. This is more like the areas of where I usually have some concerns. The gel already absorbed. Now let's moisturize. Never go too rough on the skin by doing this. You wanna press in as much as possible. So it goes right in. Feels good. It doesn't have almost like no smell. It looks like a concealer. You see your ring finger and you pad. It helps with circulation. I've had it on for about an hour. My skin is not reacting, so it feels very supple, super clean, and it feels dewy. It feels like a little glowy at the same time and not greasy, which I love that. Thank you, Verse. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to do a Hydra facial. I have never done one of those before. I've done many facials, so I'm gonna find out what it is about. Hello. How are you? Good in yourself. Like a little vacuum, and on the other side, the bubbles is okay. the liquid coming down. This is the stuff that came out of my face. Oh my gosh, I can see the blackheads. Mm -hmm. ah. Wow, okay. So that is the gunky. You have been freed. Alrighty, my skin is glowing. And it feels clean. your skin has to be protected. This one specific, it is actually made in Korea. I love Korean products. So this SPF is an SPF 50 and it's the lightest weight SPF I've ever, ever tried. Wait a minute, I gotta stop this video. Stop! 
I just realized while I was talking, I have <laughs> that cream gunk above my, my mustache. <laughs> This right here, it is not a primer per se. I know Kim Kardashian it is a huge fan of this. This one here, it is a French product. Kind of like hard to find, to be quite honest, in the drugstores. I think you can you might find it online. What it does to the skin is just kind of like seals my pores and it makes everything soft. I don't know nothing about this product. What I gotta tell you is I put it on my skin and I love it and I don't do a lot of it. It works. I don't know what it is, but it works. Now I'm gonna go with the primer. So I'm utilizing e.l.f. Luminous Primer. And what I like about it too is it creates luminosity in the skin. And when you wanna have that glossy, hydrated skin, you wanna bring light. You want to be luminous. You wanna feel plumped and youthful. In my opinion, my word of advice, I'm going to not use any type of setting powder on this look. I just tried this, I saw it on TikTok, and I'm like, I'm gonna give it a try. So literally, it's almost like an airbrush for your skin. It is an incredible product. It looks beautiful on its own, especially if you wanna have like that very natural looking skin, like very natural makeup. I think this, this works great. And totally men can wear this without a problem because it doesn't look like foundation per se. It's almost literally like a second skin. Love it. This will not break the bank. You can find it literally anywhere. The idea is just to get a very lightweight sheer foundation that is liquidy like this. The consistency is like water. The glossy wet look skin, it's not new. I remember many years ago when I worked in cosmetics, the brand MAC had that look for a while. A lot of brands recreated it. The thing is, now with technology, a lot of brands have improved their formulas and they're going a little bit cleaner. I mean, hopefully. I think a lot of them are going a little bit more cleaner and then they're actually creating products that it looks even better on the skin and more natural. This is another uh, product by e.l.f. It is a corrector. But what I like, it's like a yellow corrector. And I like to go around my nose area in the corner of my eye kind of like this to brighten this part in here so with this corrector I like to use this little sponge this one it is also by e.l.f. very inexpensive you can use whatever sponge you have but I like this shape because I can go in the corner of my eye it does something to your face that it feels that I am going to apply a little bit of concealer very little over the corrector. Patting in, blending, it is key for pretty much any application. We are gonna use a liquid illuminator. This one is by Bare Minerals. Not sure if they still make this one specifically. However, there is a lot of brands that will make liquid illuminators. Almost like from the cheekbone and I'm going to drag it a little tight where my natural shadow falls right under the eye, right in there. Right in the center of my forehead in the marionette lines, lapping lines, right in there, and that's it. And now we're gonna blend it. Not hard, what you do is just get a tiny baby brush. I'm actually, I'm using an eyeliner brush and I'm going on the sides of my nose like this. This is gonna make your nose look a little slimmer. Then get another medium-sized brush. So you can go from here, straight line towards your nose, or you can go a little bit of an angle based on your face shape, because everybody's different. Around your hairline, under your neck, don't forget about that. You can do a three, I say from here, here, and here, create a three, like this, easy to remember. And if you want more, we do it again a few times, that three, and then buff it up. There's another product that I just recently discovered. It's also by e.l.f., I'm not sponsored by e.l.f. at all. This is 100% paid by me. So again, it's not breaking the bank. I can afford e.l.f., not a problem, very inexpensive. And this right here, they created a primer blush. It has actually no shimmer. It is kind of flat, no sheen, but it really holds the blush and it looks very natural. And I just, for whatever reason, I'm obsessed with it. And what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna go kind of like over where I applied the bronzer. Just little, little strokes. You see, even in my hairline, I'm applying the same primer blush. And it's gonna create like a beautiful sun-kissed look to it. So then I'm gonna go with the baby pink and I'm gonna go a little bit closer 
to my nose but very gentle so it's gonna be a little bit lighter pink in here it's gonna go like a little bit darker pink in here hopefully that makes sense so it's gonna be multi-dimensional but at the same time very natural this is a multi stick this right here you can do on your lips but also on your cheeks this is great to have in your bag to reapply during the day this one it does require help with a little sponge and just kind of like press it in what i like about it too is that it has this beautiful sheen to it and it's going to elevate that dewiness and that glossy look in the skin and then you can use your favorite lip balm so there's a brand new product by just for men and it is like a mascara wand like this but it's meant to be for your beard and it's not a permanent hair color you just literally fill out some of the gaps that you might have on your beard and gets rid of any excess of the makeup that you have applied or if you have some growing gray hairs my beard is kind of patchy in some areas and it doesn't look even so by using this mascara wand it makes my beard look fuller um guys if you want to use it on your brows you can too if you want to take it over the top because it's nighttime and you're like you know what i like this look but i feel that i want more glossy i want more shine to my face all you gotta do is after this is completed apply a few more drops of that illuminator and it's gonna actually accentuate that glossiness to the next level so what you do is just get another pump of that get with your finger and you tap it in and don't blend that much just like tap 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 if you are prone to be very oily then you don't have to do this step this is totally totally optional depends the type of look that you want but you see how that beautiful glow comes out you see like that wet look you see how glowy it is now especially for the fall season you want to consider this type of look especially if you're prone to be dry so the more hydrated and the more dewy it is your skin will crack less very inexpensive way to create this look i use literally almost 85 percent of the products were by elf you can get them in target like i said walmart anywhere so it will not break the back at all a very special shout out to this eye cream by verse oh my gosh you guys this eye cream it is so good and look at the color wait sorry look at the color of this so it has like that beautiful pinky almost iridescent finish to it literally if you have dark circles it will illuminate them almost right away i love it i think i needed to come back and mention this eye cream it is so good and it feels so light and so creamy that i will have not a problem reapplying throughout the day oh my gosh it feels like butter like oh like melted butter or something beautiful and it's just that sheen it's incredible it's like crushed pearls on this eye cream beautiful especially before makeup application Ooh. i'm a skincare ho so i love skincare i love skin and i want to share everything that i have tried this right here it is another product that i been loving my husband have been loving it my mom has been loving it Literally, this is incredible. Next day, my skin feels so plump and so supple and so hydrated. L lately, I've been slacking with my drinking water habits. So this right here, it is helping quite a bit. The texture of it, it is yummy. So good, so creamy, so supple. Exactly what I wanted. It is just so awesome. Absorbs right into the skin. Your skin will look like a million dollars next day. This is by Laniage. I have never ever in my life tried their products. I was like, oh, I'm not quite sure. Amazing. It has like little smell, a little fragrance, but it's not overpowering. It actually smells very clean, very good. I like it. Let's talk about some skin trivia. Do you know that four out of five teenagers get acne? And I think I was one of those for sure. You know your skin accounts for 15% for of your body weight? Woo! The skin on your feet, it is way thicker than the ones on your eyelid. So you know that there are different variations of skin in your entire body. So that's why I would say use your ring finger when you're gonna apply anything around your eye area. It is very thin and it's very delicate. Do you know that sweat it is odorless? I'm like, what, really? What it makes it smell, it is the bacteria. Oh my God! uh-huh yep 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned some tips and tricks on this video. If you have any questions, oh my gosh, we are like a nice community here. Please leave your comments. I would love to answer any questions that you might have. And I will see you on my next video. But before you leave, do not forget to hit like and subscribe. Love you, spread love and don't hate. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye now.